Hello everyone. Good morning. First of all, a warm welcome to OIC training by UnoGeeks. In this video, we'll look at how to schedule an integration in OIC. Okay, so when you when you want to schedule an integration which is built using a scheduled orchestration style or pattern in OIC, you have two options. You can either use the basic scheduling options available or use the advanced scheduling options. So I'll cover both of them in this video. Okay, let's log into Oracle Integration Cloud instance and go to Integrations Work Area. And in, in previous video, we have created this file transfer service, which is based on a scheduled orchestration. Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, or let's schedule this service and explore uh, what a basic and advanced options are available. So to schedule the service, activate it first and when you try to activate a scheduled orchestration you get the usual options uh, like recommends tracing etc so enable trace include payload that's fine but if you look at these options for app driven and other or other integration styles you will get only cancel and activate options but if it is a scheduled orchestration you will also you get this third option called activate and schedule. So click on activate and schedule. That will take you to a page where you can define a schedule for your service. Okay. So when you want to define a schedule or when you want to schedule a service, you can do it using a basic options, which is available under simple, or you can use advanced options by writing a I calendar expression. First, let's, let's look at uh, what are the basic options that are available. So the basic options include these. So if you want your integration to run only once at a specific period in time, at, at a specific point in time, you can use only once and you can select the time at which you want this integration to run. Or if you want this integration to run every 10 minutes, you can select hours and minutes there and you can select 10 minutes and you can also select the from and uh, two dates okay so ensure that you you select the end date as well because uh, what happens sometimes is if everyone creates a service and if they leave it uh, if, if they leave the end date blank the service gets triggered or it it keeps kicking off requests every 10 minutes and there would be a load on a Oracle integration cloud server, and you might see some performance lag. So at least in the in the training institute instances, we recommend students to put in an end date here. In real time, you can leave it uh, leave it blank. And uh, one more point that you need to be aware of here is: so if I try to change this to any number less than ten, so what does it say? It says any number between zero and fifty nine is allowed. But if I try to uh, schedule this integration to run every two minutes using a basic options and let me try to save it you get an error and what does it say for optimal performance oic would not would not allow recurrence less than 10 minutes and what that means is there should be a gap of at least 10 minutes if not more between two integration runs or in other words this number has to be a minimum 10 okay so uh, please be aware of this point so if if you're scheduling an integration to run uh on a on a minute basis if the gap has to be at least 10 minutes and you've got other basic uh, scheduling options like if you want uh, to schedule it on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or a monthly basis you can do it using the basic options and these basic options would be sufficient uh for some for uh, say 30 or 40 percent of the scenarios but for the other 50-60% uh, of the scenarios would need or would have advanced scheduling option requirements. And what is, what is that advanced scheduling requirement? So let me give you an example. So I have this, I built this service and client, client has told me that this service needs to run on 1st, 5th and 10th of every month. And on these dates, on 1st, 5th, as well as 10th, this service should get triggered four times in a day. It should get triggered at 5.15 in the morning, 10.15 in the morning, 
three fifteen in the afternoon and eight fifteen in the evening. So this is not a simple uh, scheduling requirement, right? So you cannot achieve this using the simple options that are available because you cannot say ten minutes or you cannot say trigger every hour or or trigger every day. It is the service needs to run on specific days and at specific point in time on those specific days. So whenever you have a such as the scheduling requirement, which is which is pretty complex, in such case you can write an I calendar expression. So the the format that you are seeing here, it's it's an a proper I calendar expression, and you you can probably copy this as is and tweak it as per your own requirements or or customize it. So frequency you mentioned whether it is daily, monthly, weekly, you mentioned what of frequency you need. By month day, you mention what are the dates on which you want uh, the integration to run. Ensure that you need to use a semicolon as a delimiter. And by hour, you mention the hour at which you want uh, integration to get kicked off and the minutes as well. And ensure that you put a semicolon at the end, without which you will uh, get an error. So if I copy this I calendar expression, go to I calendar. I calendar tab. This is an advanced scheduling option. Paste in the I calendar expression there, and click on validate expression. You get a confirmation that it's valid. By mistake, if you miss uh, if you miss the last semicolon, if you try to validate it, you get an error saying that it's not a valid I calendar expression. So ensure that you put a semicolon even at the end. And yeah, you can you can use uh, you can schedule an integration using either the basic options or using the I calendar expression. So let's take out the I calendar expression. Let's go back to basic options, and let's try to schedule this service to run every ten minutes. And the from time it starts when the schedule starts. That's fine. And until so till what time you want this to run, or uh, till what time this schedule needs to be valid, you can choose an expiry date. I can say, I can say today, and I want it. I want the schedule to run only till, or maybe till tomorrow. Okay, and I will save this. Schedule saved successfully. Go back. And you will be able to see that there is a schedule defined. If you want to edit it, you can use this, or if you want to delete it, you can use this option to delete it. And if you want to submit an ad hoc request, which is not part of the schedule, you can do it using the submit now option. And to start the schedule, click on the play button. And when you click on the play button, it asks you it it asks you to confirm. You confirm it. And once you confirm, if there are any schedule parameters defined on that integration, those will show up along with default values if there are any. And then you can click on Start Schedule. You get the confirmation that the schedule has started. And what do you see in here? You see that the runs are populated. And so when is the first schedule run? It's in next 10 minutes. And when is the second run? 20 minutes from now, 30 minutes from now, 40 minutes from now. So you will see this schedule go on till tomorrow end of the day. That's because I said tomorrow as an end date. And if you if you wait for a 10 minutes, a request gets kicked off for, for this particular instance. Okay. And if you want to submit an ad hoc request, so normally when you when you have scheduled integrations in, in production and Say, for example, a file has added out and you want to reprocess the file. In such cases, what do you do? You won't disturb the schedule. You won't pause the schedule or stop the schedule. You will leave it as is because you don't want to disturb uh, today, uh, tonight's run. And whenever you want to process some additional files or the files that have added out, you will use this Submit Now option. And when you click on Submit Now, it asks you whether you want to, um, or which user you want to use to submit it. And when you click on Confirm, it will show you the requests as well. And by default, the ad hoc request will not be submitted as part of schedule. But if you want, uh, if you take this box, what will happen? The first request that is pending, uh, that is due, will be submitted as this particular request. 
Okay, so you can use this option to submit an ad hoc request. And you can take this off or leave it checked if you want and click on submit. And when you click on submit, you get an instance ID. And you notice that uh, this manually submitted run is populated, uh, which is separate from the scheduled runs. And you can see an instance ID generated. And if you want to track that request, which you have kicked off just now, go back into monitoring section, integrations, click on integrations again, and you will be able to see the uh, see the request kicked off. And you see two in here. That's because uh, a one has been kicked off, and one is in the scheduled state, which keeps kicking off requests every ten minutes. So you click on click on the request, and you see this uh, this schedule. So this is a scheduled request, and this will be in waiting mode, and this will keep kicking off a request or, or keep kicking off the service every ten minutes. So much like uh, scheduling a concurrent uh, job or or a scheduled process in ERP cloud, okay, you could see that this request has succeeded. And after eight minutes from now, or probably nine minutes, you will see uh, another request getting kicked off. So this is how you schedule an integration in OIC. And you basically have two options to sum it up. You can schedule it using the basic options, which is like schedule it to run once uh, or by minute or or by hourly on hourly basis or a daily or weekly, etc. Or you can use advanced scheduling options if you want. And how do you write the advanced scheduling options? You will use iCalendar expression to achieve that. Okay, thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle integration cloud training offered by Uno Geeks, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message. Or if you want, you can also send us an email at info at Please do check out our, our course content uh, on, on this website, unogeeks.com. Thank you.